Hello. On this video, I'm going to show you how to access the reports. I'm going to log in first as the assessor. And go to one of my candidates. And again, it takes us to the front page of their portfolio. And you'll notice the last option there is reports. So I'll just click that. And I can select for a number of reports. The first one is the assessment report. I can then click submit. And it will bring up a report for me. And this is an overall PDF document that just tells me the evidence has been uploaded to date, what type it was, and what the status was. Was it accepted, rejected, awaited decision, and so on. So that was rejected. And then it goes on to the next, and so on. So there you've got all the details of the qualification to date. And there, any details there relating to the evidence that's been uploaded. If I go to the next one, the gap analysis. What this will do is it will build on the previous report, but a much more detailed analysis. So as you can see here, it's actually got the learner's name, qualification, the day they started, day they're due to finish, and they're actually what they've actually completed and what their target is. So it's saying they're at 7%, and actually as they only started today, they're, they're ahead. And then by unit by unit, it shows you how much of that unit's been completed. And you'll notice also anywhere, where the assessment criteria has been claimed as fully covered, it's removed it. Hence the reason it goes from 1.1 to 1.4, and it's 2.4. So this only will show what's left to do in qualification. And over the period of the learner completing their qualification, it will naturally reduce down as they complete more and more of the criteria of the qualification. A number of uh, users of skills file actually print this off at the very uh, the outcome, or they, they actually save the copy and upload it into the learner's fol folder under documents. So they can actually see it as they go through. And it's a form of uh, review as well. A number of centers use this as part of their review mechanism when they meet with the learners. So this is a gap analysis tool. There's also assessment report summary. Now this is if you actually want to go in and see You've got a number of learners, actually see them, uh, the learners all in one, all their reports. So whereas the gap analysis is an individual report, this one will show you all the learners um, in a file, in a row, on a PDF document. And again, it will give you the evidence when it was uploaded, the type, and the status of it, and what it was assessed against. So again, and you'll get this for each of your learner. But as there's only one learner in here, and that was only created today, there's not, obviously the report is rather short. And there are some other reports as well, which are currently in the pipeline for being developed. There's a multi-candidate progress report. And this one, can actually, you can drill right down. So you can do it by a verifier. You can do it by assessor. You can go right down. And you can have that as a PDF or a CSV. So you can extract the data out of it if you wanted to create any form of reporting using charts or analysis. So that's the reports from the assessor's point of view. I'll now go in as the internal verifier. Now they can access it through tools as they don't actually have learners. And here you'll see they have things like the candidate analysis report, the candidates per assessor to train a report, caseload report, a sampling report, and a multi-candidate progress report. So if we look at the candidate analysis report, again, you can drill right down by internal verifier. You can even specify whether you want it done by gender, ethnicity, 
disability, their additional loan needs, or their age. And again, this data you can run from a PDF or a CSV. So if you're required to run a report to look at the breakdown of any specific areas, then this would be the report for yourself. You can also look at the candidates per assessor. And again, you can break this right down into by one verifier or a caseload. So we've selected just this verifier. And it's now looking to create that report. It's done it as a CSV file. We just click on and open. A CSV file, for those who are unfamiliar with them, is a form of Excel document, but with all the formatting stripped out. It's a format that's often used in uh, for compiling data. So as there's only one assessor and one learner, it's just showing you the report name, the assessor, the date they enrolled. And again, it's an overview of what they've done their qualification to date. So back into reports. Internal verifier caseload report. Again, you can drill right down and you can do this for specifics. So you can pick the person there and you can actually go in there if you want to look at a specific month, year, date, etc. So you can, again, you can drill right down and the report can be produced in a PDF or CSV. The IV sampling report, again, same process, drill right down, provide dates and PDF or HTML this time. And there's the multi-candidate progress report, again, same format, where you can drill right down. So as you can see, the assessor and verifiers have different reports uh, based on what this information and data they'd want to analyze and report on. And these are accessed by the IV through the tools option. And as an assessor, by if they wish to do it by learner, they can do it by the learner on the reports function. If they wish to do an overall report, they can also be given access to the reports function through tools by their super user or center admin. Thank you.